It's Richard Broman here from Charter House Auctioneers. I'm going to do a walk and a talk through our great big last auction of the year. There we go. On Thursday, November the 30th and Friday the 1st of December. Starting off, we have furniture, furniture, furniture. Now, we're gearing up for this thing called Christmas and we have a set of 10 French dining chairs. So if you've got nine friends and family coming over, that's what you need. On through here, one of the more unusual lots is 13 trays of printer's blocks. Now, for the naughty people amongst us, we probably make up a load of naughty words. Uh, obviously, I'm not silly like that. Most of you know me. Uh, know me. I'm a very sensible person. Um, 13 trays. I don't know what you do with them. Um, have some fun. I don't know. Uh, on through here, we've got Victorian chiffoniers. We've got more chairs. We've got a lovely pair of oak wainscot chairs. We've got. A, I do like these. Sort of a Thames Valley style mahogany chairs there. On through here and coming down this way as it's getting up to Christmas. What do we think about the Christmas? The first. Here we are. And what a great selection of wine, port and whiskey. There's about 120 lots. We've got lots of Borolo. We've got Champagne. We've got Bechevel. We've got a lot of a lot of whiskey. And this is quite interesting because this is a, they've got about 20 bottles of this. Uh, basically three mates went out and bought a cask of whiskey and it's especially bottled for them here. And uh, value on that between 150 and 200 pounds. Similar sort of value, and uh, this is probably one of the largest cashmere vases I think I've ever seen. Now, often we see these things getting made into lamps. I mean, that'd be a huge, great big floor lamp. Value on the cashmere vase, sort of two to three hundred pounds. On through here, we've got lots of lots of Christmas gifts. We've got silver, we've got jewellery, we've got watches, and over here we have a nice little selection of watches, all from one owner. We have various others as well. We've got we have uh, we've got Breitling. We've got Rolex, we've got Tudor and others as well. There we go. All these three watches, here we go, and a couple of as well from the same owner. He bought them all brand new and all within the past two years. The Breitling, that is for sale at about half of what he paid for it. They've all got their boxes, they've all got their papers. He has never worn them, they're unsized. Lovely little collection there. And for those of us uh, who like a bit of telly, uh, yes, I have been forced to watch The Crown like a lot of other people. Bit of a lady die ring, but what a whopper, isn't it? Lovely sapphire and diamonds. Value on that, perfect present for the, for, for the lady, around about sort of two to three thousand pounds. More modest though, because we've got a lot of, lot of modern items in as well. We have quite a bit of Jean-Paul Gaultier. There we go. Not the sort of things which normally we would, uh, we would sell, but a lovely little selection and all those being sold without reserve. But also, it's our collector's sale, and, we, uh, and we've got here, there we go, just close the door there, a lovely little Tipco tin plate toy, complete with a little chauffeur in there. That's in sort of two to three hundred pounds, just really nice and original. We've got coins, medals, and stamps, and we've got a lovely, lovely uh, Boar War commemorative medallion. Actually, I think I prefer the box on the top there. What a lot of information there is on that, isn't there? Moving on forward here, moving on forward, we have a lot of Militaria. There we go. I see no ships, only hardships. We've got two log books here, plus his MID certificate. Now this was uh, unusual. He's a RNAS as opposed to the RAF uh, pilot here. And he, he was in swordfishes and he was attacking to Brook. Basically he went down, he didn't, didn't return. Eight days floating around in a life raft and uh, he, they found land and uh, basically he, he's immediately <laughs> Means to become a prisoner of war by the Italians and spend the whole of the Second World War um, as a prisoner of war. Lovely little collection that estimate two to three hundred pounds. And we've got stamps. This is this is probably some of the more unusual envelopes that I have ever seen. And aren't they lovely? So these are the actual these these are the envelope covers. There's the name and address on who it's addressed to, Miss A de la Bour and uh, of Gertine and near Clonmel in Ireland. And aren't they wonderful? And they, these are just, just the envelopes. Estimate on those, bit of Irish postal history, two to three hundred pounds. Those of you who know me know I am particularly musical. It's where my children get it from. Uh, oh dear. That's about as good as it's gonna get today. Lovely Lachanel, uh, concertina or squeeze box with its uh, original traveling case as well. Estimate on that sort of three to five hundred pounds. On through here, though, we've got coins, medals, and stamps. We've got medals, military. We've got more stamps on through here, and we have quite a few Christmas gifts. They say one size fits all. I think I probably get a bit of a leg in that. A Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is known as a tattoo dress. Also, and uh, uh, maybe a little something for the weekend. We have a Versace 
leather uh, dress here as well. Again, I think I might get an arm into that one. So uh, again, a lot of this stuff, it's all being sold without reserve. Come on then, on through into the back. And we are, here we go, ceramics and glass and bits. Look at this. Now, we started off with the uh, set of 10 French dining chairs. Items like this, you, at Christmas, you don't even have to wash it. You can just get rid of it straight away. What a huge expanse of Eastern gold. On through here, we've got Chinese ceramics. We've got lots of lots of model cars, lots of dinky toys. Corgi classics, we've got the Corgi heavy haulage. On through here, on top and underneath, we've got, here we go. Here's one of my, uh, my childhood favorites, there's Noddy. Um, and actually, I think that's actually technically it's big ears though, isn't it? On through here, we have lots of kits and bits and pieces, lots more toys, more heavy haulage, all in their boxes. We've got pictures, we've got prints, we've got model cars, we've got trains, we've got boats, you name it, we've pretty much got it. On through here, more toys and games, and more locomotives and bits and pieces. And then just to finally, fi uh, finally, finally finish up, I suppose, is this wonderful, um, Mint and Aragon service, here we are. This would have been hugely expensive new. And again, not suitable for the dishwasher, not suitable for the microwave, but certainly your staff can wash it for you after you've finished with it. So there's a bit of a walk and a talk through our huge, great big two-day auction coming up soon.